Fires involving lithium-ion batteries in electric vehicles are happening more and more often in our community. In January, a fire started in a Centennial home when one of the battery packs for an EV caught fire. Ashley Portillo is your reporter in Arapahoe County. She spoke with a local firefighter who travels the country to teach others about how to respond to these kinds of issues. Firefighters from all over Boulder County had to respond when an electric vehicle exploded in a garage in Boulder last month. Knowing that it's getting closer and closer to every single one of us, we need to just be ready to take this on a little bit more serious. And last April, a garage explosion involving an electric Jeep blowing off a firefighter's helmet. But in the next couple years, they are going to be everywhere, and this is going to be a problem we face on a daily basis. Paul Shoemaker is a firefighter and paramedic with the Aurora Fire Department. He also works closely with the National Fire Protection Association and the Fire Safety Research Institute. When he's not at the station, he's traveling the country, teaching other first responders how to battle these high-tech fires. Teaching firefighters how to handle, mitigate, and, and tactically um, extinguish lithium-ion battery fires. Lithium-ion batteries can be found in e-bikes, scooters, and electric vehicles. For decades, firefighters have perfected battling a standard structure fire or a vehicle with a combustion engine. Now with lithium-ion batteries, we're talking seconds of changes to where somebody can be alive and somebody could, could perish from that fire. How do you solve something like that? It, Training is obviously the number one answer, and it's a lot of training. But for the past four years, Shoemaker has taught hundreds of fire departments and thousands of firefighters across the country. Part of the training is changing the way firefighters respond to fires and how to handle what's in front of them. It changes the way that we put water on fire. It changes the way that we open up doors and, and ventilate a structure. Um, all of these things that, that have to change to handle a lithium-ion battery is completely changing the way that we have done things for years. The trainings also include how to remove EVs from inside a structure, how much hotter these fires can burn, and how many days after these fires could reignite. Many of those conversations have also happened in Colorado. It's pretty awesome to see that Colorado's taken that step forward in the fire service to make it a safer and better place for our citizens. And remember, it's not just EVs that can catch fire. Think anything with the lithium ion batteries, so cell phones as well as laptops. Now, some of the advice that Paul did give us is to not charge any of these items overnight and also do not charge them, especially in front of a doorway in case you have to use that door to get out during an emergency. I'm Ashley Portillo covering Colorado First.